Hello, Sylvain Vervoort here with Technical Analysis Part 11. We will have a look at the RSI indicator and how it can be used to detect price reversals. Pay a visit to my website at staccata.org and have a look at my new book Capturing Profit with Technical Analysis. The purpose of this video series is to teach you how to trade successfully applying technical analysis techniques. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, is a popular momentum oscillator. Momentum refers to the speed of change. Oscillator means that the value of the RSI oscillates between two values, here 0 and 100. The RSI was introduced in 1978 by J. Wallace Wilder. RSI measures the relation between the price bars with a higher closing price compared to the previous bar and between the bars with a lower closing price compared to the previous price bar in a set time period. Originally, Wilder used a 14 days period on daily charts. This remains the standard and most widely used value today. The RSI is a leading indicator. As you can see in this chart, tops and bottoms will be visible in the RSI before they show up on the price chart. The standard 14 period RSI makes tops above 70, called the overbought area. When it bottoms below 30, it is called the oversold area. Many times new tops and bottoms show up in the RSI before they are visible on the price chart. However, a continuing uptrend or downtrend will keep the RSI in the overbought or oversold zone. The RSI indicator can be used as part of a decision-making process to open or close a position. Divergence signals between price and RSI, as visible in this chart, are a trade confirmation, preferably together with other technical buy or sell signals. On the other hand, an RSI continuing to move within the overbought or oversold area can help you to hold on to an open position when other selling signals appear, that way avoiding unnecessary closing of a position. Looking at the lows of the oscillator and comparing them with the lows in price, you can see three different situations. When the price and oscillator make higher or equal bottoms, they converge. Until there is no other indication, the most probable price move is a continuation of the uptrend. When the oscillator creates a higher bottom, while the price makes a lower bottom, they diverge. This is mostly found at the end of a downtrend, indicating an uptrend reversal. When the oscillator has a lower bottom, while the price sets a higher bottom, they diverge. This is mostly found in a price uptrend after a price correction, indicating a continuation of the uptrend. Looking at the highs of the oscillator and comparing them with highs in price, you can see three other situations. When the price and the oscillator make equal or lower tops, they converge. Until there is no other indication, the most probable price move is a continuation of the downtrend. When the oscillator makes a lower top, while price makes a higher top, they diverge. This is mostly found at the end of an uptrend, indicating a downtrend reversal. When the oscillator makes a higher top, while price makes a lower top, they diverge. This is usually found in a price downtrend after a price up correction, 
indicating a continuation of the downtrend. A divergence with a higher bottom in the RSI indicator and a lower bottom on the price chart is an indication for an uptrend reversal. On the other hand, a divergence with a higher top in the price chart and a lower top in the RSI indicator points to a downtrend reversal. A hidden or inverse divergence with a lower bottom in the RSI and a higher bottom in price is most common found in an uptrend. There is not yet a divergence between the previous tops. The down correction is apparently just an intermediate correction for the previous uptrend. This hidden divergent move points in the direction of a continuation of the previous uptrend. You can use the divergent turning point as a price support level. A hidden or inverse divergence with a higher top in the RSI and a lower top in price is most commonly found in a downtrend. There is not yet a divergence between the previous bottoms. The up correction is apparently just an intermediate correction for the previous downtrend. This hidden divergent move points in the direction of a continuation of the previous downtrend. You can use the divergent turning point as a price resistance level. The 3070 fixed reference level used in the standard RSI is a disadvantage if you are using time periods other than the standard 14 bars. Using a 30 day RSI in this daily chart here shows clearly that the 30 and 70 levels are not reached anymore. We can solve this by using a variable reference level. In this chart you can see a simple way of achieving this by using a standard deviation value referenced to the medium RSI 50 level in a predefined look back period. We set the upper standard deviation to a value of 50 plus one and a half times the standard deviation over a 100 day look back period. That way with larger RSI time periods the reference level will move closer to the 50 level in the order 40 to 60. Whereas for smaller periods reference levels move farther away to the 20 and 80 levels. It is now easier to recognize overbought or oversold conditions with any RSI time period. This is the RSI Metastock custom formula with the variable standard deviation lines at one and a half times the standard deviation over a 100 days period. This formula is available on my website as indicated. Small m and w shaped patterns are short time patterns visible in the overboard and oversold areas or the 50 reference of the RSI indicator. In this chart you can see small M shaped patterns at the top and small W shaped patterns at the bottom giving reliable short term price reversal signals. Preferably they'll incline in the direction of the reversal. The second leg of the M shaped pattern does not move above the first leg. The second leg of the W shaped pattern does not move below the first leg. M and W patterns are unrelated to convergences or divergences between the price and the RSI indicator. They are more useful when there is a convergent move because they are at that moment in time the only visible indicators of at least a short term reversal. The RSI indicator is most useful to detect price trend reversals 
based on normal or hidden divergences and using the M and W short term patterns in case of convergent price moves. Overbought and oversold areas can best be detected with an active standard deviation band. This is certainly one of the indicators that will help you to make better trading decisions. In the next video we will talk about Heiken Ashi price bars and how we can use the Heiken Ashi average closing price to smooth indicators. Tell your friends about these videos and while visiting my website have a look at my new book Capturing Profit with Technical Analysis. Have a nice day.